Hello and uh, welcome to my second webinar. Uh, some of you might recognize me, but if not, hello. Uh, my name is Veronica and uh, I have been working in the coffee and vending industry for um, now it's almost eight years. And as my main job here at Vendon is to communicate with uh, vending and coffee operators on a daily basis, um, throughout the years, um, this really has allowed me to hear a lot of cool and interesting stories about how other operators have used modern technologies uh, to improve their daily operations. So I had this idea uh, that I could share it with a wider audience, um, as hopefully this will expand your outlook on things that you can do for your business and, and your daily operations to make them better. Um, today, I am here with my colleague, Eva, uh, who is our wonderful marketing manager, and she will help me out there if uh, you have any questions. So yes, feel free to ask questions during the webinar, and I will answer them uh, afterwards, uh, or I will email you back. And if you think of a question after the webinar, there's no problem at all. At the, as on the last slide, you will have my email address and you can email me directly, or you can connect with me on LinkedIn, and we can chat so, yeah. there. But uh, before we start, um, I think it is important to look at the Vendon um, ecosystem as such. So when we think about Vendon telemetry products, um, our main goal is to allow businesses to be able to compete in the market because it's a tough business and uh, most often to have a advantage over those who are not using those smart solutions. And uh, our solution consists of our telemetry as well as our cashless payment module and our loyalty program, better uh, uh, program or solution better known as QuickPick. Um, nevertheless, we do have a few add-ons uh, that you can use uh, and add to our solution, and today I will guide you through them. So, yes, um, we will look at add-ons that you can add to our beloved hardware device or VBOX, and we will go step-by-step step and explore different ways you can work with our temperature sensor, barcode reader, receipt printer, uh, door sensor, and reboot plug. And uh, I think it's important to note that uh, all of the add-ons that I've mentioned today, are they are compatible with any machine that can work with or vend on hardware device, the VBOX. Meaning if your machine can work with MDB, executive, CCI, CSI, and BDB uh, protocol, it most definitely can work uh, with our add-ons. So just keep that in mind. So as the first add-on, I would like to talk about our temperature sensor. Uh, it's super straightforward uh, as it's a long cable <laughs> with the probe at the end. Um, there's nothing much to it, but we know that uh, temperature is a highly important uh, variable for anyone working in the vending or coffee industry. And we all know that fresh food vending now is on the rise, uh, as well as freshly squeezed juice machines, um, as people are becoming more and more health conscious. Uh, nevertheless, to sell such temperature sensitive products, it's really important to ensure that the temperature is consistent throughout every hour of the day. Some machines do have this pre-built, um, like a pre-built temperature sensor, but there is no way to communicate the change of temperature to the end user instantly. The way our customers are using the temperature sensors is by installing them inside the machine in the compartment where the food is stored. And um, as our temperature sensor is able to measure the temperature in the range of minus 55 degrees Celsius to up to 125 degrees Celsius, we can ensure that even if you're selling, I don't know, ice cream to pizza, we still can prove that the temperature is just right and the product quality is always on point. Another great thing is that the minimum and maximum temperature values are defined by you. So whatever is the right temperature for your foods, you can predefine it in our Vendon cloud. 
The temperature sensor together with our telemetry device works hard night and day, even when you're sleeping, <laughs> as they measure the temperature every two minutes. And they send it straight to the Vendon cloud. So you know uh, not two minutes go by without you knowing the right temperature in your machine. Um, but now I would like to step back a bit and um, take you to a real case study of how this is applied in life. And um, I would like to tell you about a case study uh, where a temperature sensor really made a difference to the end user experience, uh, which you might think, how? It's a cable with a probe. How can it make a difference? But we all know how, it's imp how important it is to pour cold milk into your milk container for your coffee machines to achieve the best foam uh, for your coffee. So uh, one of uh, our clients, a coffee operator who serviced offices with a full solution, meaning uh, they provided the customer with the coffee machines as well as the ingredients, you know, it's a, a pretty uh, standard thing. And uh, they delivered all the ingredients, the coffee machine, and they left it to the office admin to do the refilling of the machine. Nevertheless, a lot of complaints were received from the end users, so drinkers of the coffee, the office workers, that the coffee machine didn't perform well, it didn't make nice thick foam, it was watered down, and they couldn't really understand what's the issue here. And... Um, and they, for the operator, it made no sense because they just invested in top of the notch new coffee machines that are they know they are capable of, uh, you know, delivering this nice foam. And when they added a Vendon temperature sensor to the fridge where the actual milk cartons are uh, placed, you know, under the cabinet, they realized that the fridge was defective and not cold enough, even at some points not cold at all. Uh, so the milk stored in that fridge was not cold, it was warm. And once it was poured into the milk container, it couldn't cool down uh, fast enough, resulting in a coffee without a nice foam. And once they saw it, they shared this information with the coffee uh, office admin, sorry, and they fixed the problem. And, you know, the problem was solved and the drink had really nice thick foam from now because, you know, the cold milk was going into the machine. So as you can see here, the point I'm trying to make is that minor add-ons really make a difference, uh, even for the quality of the drinks and the user experience. So it's really the little things that matter. As um, the next one, uh, it's the barcode reader. And in uh, our previous uh, webinar, my colleague Guna, who's uh, head of product at uh, Vendon, introduced you to our loyalty and payment application, QuickPick. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, you can find a recording um, of it on our LinkedIn page or YouTube account. And I highly suggest you to do so because uh, Guna is amazing and she shares pretty cool insights about the quick pick and the loyalty scheme. And she rightly mentioned that nowadays more and more operators are looking for a way to engage the customers, uh, but it isn't really always easy to do, especially if you're operating, let's say in a petrol station with no staff. Um, here I'm talking about the trendy micro marketplaces, or in this case, it was a place where only vending machines uh, were available. Uh, so how could you catch clients um, who come at um, the petrol station just to fill their cars with uh, petrol and that's it? How can you um, engage them to have the coffee and a snack right there and not at the neighboring cafe next door? So one of our clients had a solution for this. Uh, they did a customer research by looking into their um, customer behavior. And what they found was that from 500 visitors that they have in a day, an average of 200 visited the restroom. So it was part of the answer. So uh, they invited the restroom users to have a um, cup of uh, coffee or a snack by giving receipt um, after they paid for the restroom. And this receipt was 100% redeemable at the vending machine that stayed outdoors. So this made their sales much higher as customers, they did not want to lose their money, you know, and uh, they were more likely to get something for it and pay the difference. So, and in a result, 
they increase their sales um, because they engage those customers who use the restroom, which accounted for almost half of their visitors. So that's the way they used um, the uh, barcode scanner in this case. But um, next up is our receipt printer. Um, it's pretty straightforward as it looked like a receipt printer that you would see at the cash register. It's just made uh, specifically for vending and uh, coffee machines. And uh, what's great about it is the fact that we can add any barcode, any QR code, uh, plus your logo. Um, super easy. Uh, so our receipt printer can work in multiple scenarios. Um, I would say in any way you can think of actually. And uh, my favorite application again has to be with a petrol station. I'm sorry, I'm just like talking about petrol stations all day. But uh, this time around it uh, was a full on like traditional petrol station with employees working in it. And um, the main issue this petrol uh, station chain uh, experienced was that when there was a high influx of visitors at the station, let's say, I don't know, a big bus of travelers uh, approached it and uh, their employees were scared and they would switch off the coffee machines uh, as they would not see like if everyone has paid uh, for their drink and they had huge issues with the component inventory as it just didn't match up. So they were scared and they just switched off the machines, which made no sense because, you know, at this time you can make the most sales, right? And um, first option for them was to introduce a cashless device uh, that would be at the actual coffee machine. Nevertheless, uh, this for them did not make any sense because, you know, they wanted to sell the snacks. They wanted to sell the confectionery goods, you know, uh, and all of other things in their petrol station. So uh, we had the brainstorming session about this where we thought, okay, what are the ways we could ensure that the customer paid for the coffee and the employees wouldn't be so scared of the high number of visitors that they wouldn't switch off the machines? Um, so we got the idea to introduce a receipt printer at the machine, which printed out the barcode uh, that could be scanned at the cash register. I know uh, some of you might think, hmm, but, uh, you know, the customer could just take the receipt and walk right out. Like, you know, you didn't tie the customer to the machine. Yeah, we don't do that. Uh, but we made it more interesting for them to go to the cash register by giving them a small uh, treat uh, for free. So whenever you go to the cash register, you display your receipt, you pay for your coffee and you get a small treat for free. And uh, what's interesting is that the data showed that after two months usage of the printer solution uh, was that their coffee and milk consumption that they used up in the machines and the amount of goods delivered to the actual petrol station, they mashed up almost to the T. And uh, this, this meant that the solution was working and that the customers were more likely to go to the cash register uh, once they got the receipt. Nevertheless, I think in my mind, at least, um, the biggest impact was made on the employees who were no longer scared of the big crowds and they just knew that most of the customers will pay even, um, you know, because they have this complimentary sweet treat. And uh, again, I think it's uh, important uh, and I would like to emphasize the importance and power of brainstorming and really coming together with the marketing and sales teams to find the smart solution um, that can help uh, make an impact on uh, your business and your business's daily operations. And um, now we have the last two. Uh, add-ons uh, to talk about or door sensor and or reboot plug and we will start with our door sensor uh, that's again pretty straightforward it's uh, basically like two magnets uh, which whenever they untouch it uh, gives a signal to our hardware device that there is no contact anymore translating into an open door um, of course, the first option, how the door sensor is used, it is for doors. <laughs> it's used to ensure that the machine was uh, visited. Nevertheless, you can take this step 
a bit for, further and you can analyze how your employees are performing. Um, so what I mean by this is that um, at Vendon Cloud, you can tell exactly when your refiller or technician was at the machine and it detects uh, when the door was opened um, and it gives uh, information about how long it was open. So can, you can really tell how much time your employee spent at the machine and you can calculate the effectiveness um, of each visit and you can optimize the way your employees work. And we have seen that sometimes refilling can take, I don't know, up to an hour per machine. And um, once asked, why did it take so long? Like, what did you do there? The, oper the operator actually learned that they had to change the way that they pay their employees because they had an hourly pay. So there's no set of uh, number of machines that the refiller had to visit. It was just like paid by hour. So the employee just basically, you know, took their time. <laughs> Let's put it this way. So once the operator introduced our telemetry, or route planning tool and the door sensor, and they set a number of machines that had to be visited on a daily basis, the efficiency of the employees um, grew significantly. So uh, that's one way of uh, using the door sensor. Nevertheless, uh, our door sensor has different use cases as well. And uh, this one is about encashments. So we had an operator who had the uh, internal issues with encashments and managing the encashments. And we had to find a way to know when exactly the cash box was removed and emptied. So we achieved this by placing the actual, the, the, the same door sensor on the bottom of the cash box. So every time it was pulled up, an automatic encashment was registered. And um, this allowed the operator to really ensure that the cache was taken out. And with the data from our telemetry, uh, they could really match up, uh, you know, how much cache should be in the machine once the encashment was made. Okay, we have come to the end and final add-on of today's session. And um, I would like to introduce you to our Reboot Pod. Uh, you might be familiar with the phrase, have you tried to restart your device? Uh, at least I have heard it many times whenever you contact the support center of any electric appliance, like that's the first thing they ask you to do. And uh, from working closely with operators on a daily basis, we understood that in almost all cases, the first thing that will be done to fix an issue would be a hard reset. So. That's actually where the idea about the reboot plug was born. Um, it's a super simple device that looks like an average power plug that you can see on the slides. And you might wonder, how does it work? Mm, it's super simple. The remote reboot plug, it's uh, plugged into the wall, while the plug of the machine is plugged into the socket of the reboot plug. So, okay, let's recap. I, I see that, you know, Eva is staring at me like, you need the recap. Okay, so you have a reboot plug that you plug into the wall, and then into the re reboot plug, you plug in the actual machine. So that's it. And then there's a cable that goes straight to our hardware device, our V-Box. And uh, once connected, uh, the remote, uh, remote reboot settings must be configured in our cloud. And the admin has to enable this functionality. And that's it. From there on, you can remotely restart the machine just by one click uh, at our clouds. So uh, once we tested out this, uh, we were actually pleasantly surprised uh, that together with our clients, uh, we learned that this simple reset can resolve actual 70% of machine issues. And it was completely remotely done. So uh, for the particular vending operator who used the reboot plug, they saw that they had um, significantly increased their uh, machine service efficiency by ensuring that any small technical issues are quickly uh, fixed by restarting the machine from a distance. Um, additionally, uh, once the machine downtime was reduced, the machines were up and running you know, almost all the time. And they were able to generate more uh, revenue than ever before. Uh, 
However, uh, they did not stop here. Um, you might remember the temperature sensor that I talked about earlier. And um, this particular operator was into the fresh food uh, vending. And for them, it was super crucial to know what is the temperature in the machine and that it is right at all times. Um, so whenever they got an alert that the temperature is not right and that there is some technical issue with the machine, they could just do uh, the remote reboot of the machine and fix uh, the issue. And the magic is that this particular add-on, um, it does not, you know, it, it does the hard reset of the machine. It does not just switch off the machine. You know, sometimes you have those like power off buttons, but that doesn't work because when we talked with other vending manufacturers, they told us, you know, that doesn't reset the machine. It's just a power off button. You have to actually plug it out of the wall to make a hard reset. So, um, or reboot plug really can save you a lot of time and money once implemented together with our telemetry solution, because you can truly decrease the visits to your machine. Um, so, yeah. Yes, there's a video showing. Yeah, was telling me. Yes, there will be a video of how it uh, actually works. So, yeah, you plug it in and... Uh, that's basically it. And as you can see, yeah, you can, for more cloud, you can reboot the device. You just accept it that you have done it. And now it magically switches off and does a hard reset. And you can see it in the log as well. So again, this is just a recap how it works, that you just plug it into the wall and uh, it's connected to our VBOX and you can do it completely remotely. So this is it. Um, I tried to keep it sweet and short and to the point. Um, I hope that after this uh, session, you feel a little bit inspired to step outside of how you have been working and operating right now. And... Uh, you have left some sweat, some space to uh, wonder about all the endless solutions that you can have with the adoption of the right technology. Um, so yeah, I would be more than happy to connect with you, brainstorm with you, and uh, find the best solutions for whatever issues you might be facing right now. Uh, so Eva, do we have any questions? Um, yes, we have a question. If you can um, use this uh, solution to turn off the machine during the weekend to, to uh, save some uh, electricity. And uh, for at now, at the moment, it's not uh, possible. So the question is? Yeah, I already answered. Oh, okay, it's yeah, that's fine. It's not possible, yeah. Okay, it's yeah, yeah. For, <laughs> That's why uh, I was like, you have to answer. <laughs> it's just uh, yeah. works only for a short period of time. Okay. Is there any other? No, no okay. not at all. Okay. Oh, then I was pretty clear, I guess. So again, if you do have any questions, please feel free to email me or let's connect on LinkedIn. And uh, thank you for your time today.